Uh, but I figured, Goo, since like he had a couple of things to say about each of the quarterbacks, Trey Lance, Brock Purdy, and Sam Darnold. And I figured just because you haven't heard it yet, we could play, I play these wait. individual clips and dig into each of them because I, I think they're kind of fascinating okay, let's do and it. representative of where the national media is, I think, with the, the 49ers quarterback room. So here's the first clip, and it's it, the way I tried to set it up was essentially – uh, Ross Tucker, Ross Tucker podcast, he's our NFL Odyssey insider, asked him about if the 49ers have, have soured on Trey, kind of like what we were kicking around yesterday. Okay. Here's what he had to say. I think they've soured on him a little bit. And do I think that he's a work in progress? Maybe, but he's been there a decent amount of time now. I know the injuries, and I know they felt like they needed to develop him and all that stuff, and they don't want to go through those growing pains with him now or the develop with him, development with him now, I get that. But, Evan, to pay the money they did for Sam Darnold, like decent money, to go out and get Sam Darnold, and maybe you could say that that's just because there are injury concerns for both Purdy and Lance, which I get. But even if you feel like Trey Lance needs some development, they made the decision a year ago to go with Trey Lance as their starting quarterback. And now this year, he's not good enough to even be the backup? I I'm sorry, but you can't tell me that they haven't soured on him a little bit if he's not even good enough to be the backup because it's pretty clear from anyone you talk to that they like Sam Darnold more than Trey Lance, which I, would th I think is pretty alarming if you're a Niners fan. Man, so a, a lot there. <sighs> The first thing is the last thing he said to me, which is you got to be alarmed if you're a 49ers fan because not not just from the people that Ross Tucker is speaking to, and he's got far more access to people around the league than we do, but even some of the local media, the sentiment seems to be consistent that Sam Darnold is a hell of a lot closer to being the QB2 than we would have assumed when they signed him this offseason. And I, I I take honest to that. I don't believe that. I, and Ross is a friend of the program, a brother. I mm -hmm. love Ross. So here I go, Evan, because I'm passionate about this, 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 this whole situation. Until the And let me know if I'm wrong, and I know I'm not here. The depth chart comes out, yep. and Trey Lance is not quarterback number three. I need to watch or somebody break down what happened from week two when Trey Lance was halted off in the, in the truck, the injury truck headed to Kaiser, till now. I don't – now, are you telling me that's because the success that Brock Purdy had? Because, Evan, I'm not Einstein, but I think I'm pretty damn smart sometimes, and sometimes that gets me in trouble. I feel like the way that the Niners lost the game and had receivers running back, whoever could throw the ball under center, that they got together and said this will never, ever happen to us again. And no shade at Oakland's uh, Josh Johnson, but they want three viable candidates. And the NFL implemented a new rule to where those three can be up on the on, on given day. Mm -hmm that that will never happen. But don't come sell me on Sam Darnold, who I was ecstatic about coming out of USC, is if he's had success in the NFL like Jim Joe Montana. So on that front, I'm going to say, Ross, I hear you. I feel you. I believe. But until those words and that depth chart comes out of Santa Clara, I'm not writing off Trey Lance. And again, I know you're looking at me, but um, I need you to just help me decipher what I'm missing in regard to Trey getting hurt. He was named the starter, right or wrong. He was named the starter till now. And all I can fit in is, okay, Brock Purdy balled his ass off, but now he's got an elbow. And if you want to err on the side of caution, I get it. So how are we? Wh who's he talking to? Not named Kyle and John to say that, and this is what to say that Donald's number two, and that's this, that's all. And this is what confuses me. It's so the, you get what mixed, I'm saying, Evan. Well, th there's mixed signals, mm. and that's the only thing consistent about the entire room to me is everything that comes out 
is going left or right, but nothing seems to be on the straight and narrow as it is in relation to the hierarchy of the quarterback room. I believe that if Brock Purdy is healthy for week one, that he will be the starting quarterback. Everything outside of that, I have no clue what is going on, and that to me is frustrating because of where not only you drafted Trey Lance, of not only where you put him last year as your starting quarterback, and then, of course, he got hurt, but now it feels like he has, from the time he's been drafted, slipped lower and lower and lower on the totem pole of likability from inside the 49ers organization. But that doesn't match up with the reports that we're hearing about how they've liked him more than ever. And so that's what confuses me, is if... He is indeed what Ross, and I believe Ross, when he says that everything he's hearing from local or national media surrounds Sam Darnold being the plug-and-play backup guy that they signed very quickly after the season ended for a higher slot than you would give to a third-string quarterback. It's $4 million. It's not a whole lot of money, but you're not paying someone to be the third-string quarterback $4 million. The actions and the words do not match up to me from what I am seeing and hearing from the 49ers, and that's what gives me pause. Okay, well said. But do you think, Evan, at all, the last game and the debacle that was, the game that never really took place in the NFC Championship game, do you think the Niners looked around and had that real talk? Michael Jackson, the man in the mirror, and said, you know what, I don't know why, John, I'm talking, this is Kyle, Our quarterbacks just get hurt. I don't know what's going on and why it happens, but let me tell you this, my friend. We are going to invest in the third-string quarterback almost like he was a second-string quarterback. So why is the if you follow the money, and and I'm not mad at Ross for just saying, hey, why are they going to pay so much in a third-string quarterback? We, We think, can't that be the answer, the fact that their heart was broken, that they had no option after the second string and the way that game played out, a game before the Super Bowl, that they say we're going to invest more probably than any other team in our third string quarterback. Why does it have to be eggs? And I'm not saying you're doing it. Why does it have to be egg on the face of Trey Lance and his game that Darnold's in town? You're he might uh, Brock may not be ready week one. <laughs> he might not be. You know be. what? It's, and it might be so close that they're going to err on the side of caution. Evan, this I'm looking at you right now with your dad listening. Jeremy, if, you, if it were your team and everything played out the way it has, in my world, Guru Land, if I named my starter last year, Trey Lance, and he I got hurt and he got off, there's no – at minimum – Trey Lance would be my start, my number two quarterback. You can sell me on Brock's success and he's ready to go. I get that. But you cannot sell me on something's happened and he's missed receivers on his sick on the sick bed. Like, there's no way you can tell me he's number three. That's all I'm having a problem with. And that's where I think it's, is it, what do I call it shade? Uh, I won't bring in race at all. I'm not. Because I don't think it's that, but that's where I'm like, okay, hold on now. What's going on here, Ross, to where you guys feel like, and you're not going to reveal your sources, I get it, that you feel like Sam Darnold is as terrible as he's been in his tenure in the NFL, and it ain't been that long. He's number two. I think Sam Darnold was brought in to be the floor for the quarterback room. Like Sam Darnold, whether you like him or not, I don't the think floor. he's a particularly great quarterback. But he's had 55 starts in the NFL. Trey Lance and Brock Purdy combined have started 12 games. So I think Sam Darnold, and this is where I will meet Kyle Shanahan halfway, if, and I believe him to be a relatively conservative head coach and play caller, you need to know as a play caller what you're going to get from your quarterback. And even if, and I agree, as far as talent's concerned, Brock Purdy and Trey Lance are up here and Sam Darnold is far lower. But that's not what makes up a quarterback room. Your backup quarterback, in my mind, and maybe maybe you differ, is supposed to be someone that can plug a sinking ship. It's not meant to be the the end-all, be-all solution. But right now, if Brock Purdy cannot go week one, 
it does appear, just following the breadcrumbs, that Sam Darnold is that kind of, not gorilla glue, but but makeshift kind of plug-and-play guy that Kyle Shanahan brought in in case this happens because he did not feel comfortable with a quarterback room that had two question marks. Wow. Let me ask, hey, man, stellar points. Let me ask you how you feel. Um, I feel bad for Trey Lance. Because you didn't answer my question in the sense of if you were running the show, well, you did. You said it's, we're getting mixed signals. But if you were running the show, Evan, and and we were in a different city and the same thing was playing out, wouldn't you scratch your head as to why? What, what's the story here? How is Trey Lance, your starter last year, gets hurt? How is he not, at minimum, your number two, your backup quarterback? Just for the solace of finding out if he can play. Because Ross is insinuating, not that he wants to, and others, that they, and Steiny, that they've seen something non-training camp since the injury that has soured the Niners on them. But Mayoko a couple weeks ago, I'll never forget you had to say, they're hot. And it could just be talk. They're hot. This is the this is the best they felt about Trey. Then the Hegan comes out, our boss, last night. He ain't wrong. But I'm like, he's in line. There's a parade of, I feel bad. I can't believe. They put him with Wiseman. And I'm like, not yet. Trey has not played as much as James Wiseman, people. No, and I, I'm afraid he will never get that opportunity Whoa. to. Mm. Like that that's the that's way where you all think things this are is going. headed. Yeah, and I think that's unfair to Trey Lance, but I also believe it was unfair to draft him in the first oh, place. Man. On on YouTube, I believe it was. I forget who was who was asking about it. It might have been Don Meg. I, I apologize. Someone asked me because I had the chance to see Trey Lance in college when he was a freshman. He's not a finished product by any means, but he played one season, one full season oh, of my college goodness, football man. and then was drafted third overall. That's not his fault. Right. That is Kyle right. Shanahan's fault. And when now Kyle Shanahan brings in Sam Darnold to this equation, to me, I also get mixed signals about what you want because your roster is ready to win now, and yet you went out and drafted a project and a developmental quarterback that either you thought was further along, and that's on you for not being able to evaluate that and see that, or... You brought somebody in that you weren't willing then to give the chance to play to, or you were going to give him a, a short rope. Like it seems to me that last season he was the starter, okay, because he had to be. Jimmy Garoppolo didn't have a full training camp. You didn't yet yet know what you had in Brock Purdy. Your third overall pick, so he had to play. Like that was the conservative choice by process of elimination. This season, Kyle Shanahan is saying. I do want to still play the quarterback group conservatively because I think we could win by running the football the majority of the time because we got C-Mac, we got Debo, we got all these weapons in the backfield. All I need is a a general baseline level of competency from the quarterback position. And it's not that he doesn't believe Trey Lance has the capacity to do it. I think he's just afraid that he can't do it consistently enough to the point where this season could be in turmoil.